Hey there, Trevor here from Double Bill Movies. Right, another haul video for you. It's kind of near the end of the month now. Um, and I've actually had quite a few different titles come in. Uh, quite an eclectic taste as well. Lots of different genres. Um, a couple of Blu-rays and mostly 4Ks. And a couple of little box sets. Right, so what do you, let's find out what I've got, shall we? Now this was aired on the BBC um, many years ago. Um, and actually, I think I brought it on Amazon Prime, so I can watch it there. But you know what? I much prefer to have a physical media version. And this is the best quality version I could find. And it's the German skew of Fleming. Yes, this is about Ian Fleming, the writer of James Bond, and about his exploits during World War II. Um, yes, Dominic Cooper. Um, plays the role really well. It's a six-part mini-series, um, and if you haven't seen it and you like World War II or you like James Bond and you want to sort of get a, um, a bit more of an origin of Ian Fleming, then I highly recommend this. Uh, and I think it does end on him starting to write Doctor No or something like that. So that's a really cool link um, to sort of, well, this is reality. This is kind of true stories kind of thing. Um, yes, Fleming. There is um, English and German audio, and I think there's 2.0 of both, and 5.1 of both, uh, if I understand this right. Um, but it's region free, and uh, just the one disc. Um, I think there was a slipcover originally on this, but didn't turn up uh, with this one. Never mind. Okay. Now I was watching, um, I don't know the channel's name, but I was watching a video and they were talking about a sixth um, kind of Night of the Living Dead film, um, something like that. Return of the Living Dead film. Uh, that was it. A Return of the Living Dead 6. Um, now, it's just another means of a studio jumping on um, and adding that title, just sort of tag along the end of a, a franchise. I don't think the film has anything to do with that. But the film's original title is actually Bombshell Bloodbath. Um, now, in the UK, there is, I think, some DVD SKUs which have that title, um, Return of the Living Dead 6. But there's no Blu-rays. This is the only Blu-ray available. Um, and it's a, another German SKU. Um, so you can see the FSK, not very easily, but uh, um, but it does have reversible art, meaning that you can get rid of the FSK. But it is an English speaking film and it does have the original audio on it. Um, so I think this will be quite a rare Blu-ray. Uh, so if you do fancy this, you might want to try and hunt one down as soon as possible before they disappear. Um, yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I plan to watch it for my 31 days of Halloween. So we'll see what it's like then. Now, this is a title that I ordered, must be well over a year ago, um, a pre-order that I saw on Amazon. Uh, I thought it was going to come with a slip, um, but it doesn't. And uh, I don't think there actually was a slip. I think it was just put, added in the listing on Blu-ray.com. But um, this is one of the films that I watched when I was unemployed. So it will be part of my the YouTube horror series that I'm sort of working my way through. Um, and this is a 4K of Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, um, which is an old TV horror movie. And they've added in the second one. Um, so we've got both films on 4K. Um, are they two 4Ks? No. So there's both films on that 4K and I think both films on the Blu-ray. Um, it is region free um, and it's MVD visual. There we go. Uh, so yes. Dark Knight the Scarecrow 1 and 2. So um, not quite sure how far down the list that is on my YouTube horrors but 
Um, I'll get there at some point. Okay, so another um, Kino Lorber title here that I was hoping to get a slip with, but I kind of missed out. Um, although I have just found one on eBay for a pretty good price, so I've ordered that so I can get the slip and I'll pass this one on without the slip. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? I know, never mind. Um, and that is Leviathan, uh, another film I haven't seen. Uh, I was unemployed at the time that this came out, so I couldn't really pre order it. And I was hoping when I got this from Wow HD that um, it would have come with a slip, but no, it didn't. Uh, so. Yes, I won't watch this one. I kind of wish I hadn't opened it now, um, but I shall pass this on and then when I get to the one with the slip, I shall watch that. But that is also going to be one of my um, 31 days of Halloween. Uh, so that'd be a cool film to sort of do a little video on. For that, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video for each day or um, like maybe I'll, I'll just do four videos in the month um and do you know what i've watched that week uh that would be the best way to do it now uh join a facebook group um uh, a sort of cult collectors uh, facebook group um and people buy and sell things in there all the time and they price things at reasonable prices There's no stupid ebay prices or hiked up amazon prices or anything like that so i've basically managed to get this trilogy two with the slip cover and one without. Um, so let's start with the first one in the trilogy. And it was a fistful of dollars. Um, so for all three films, I paid, I think it was 70 or 75 pounds, included PMP. Uh, so, and these one, these two were open. Um, that's, so that's a fistful of dollars with a slip and a few dollars more with the slip but uh, the good the bad and the ugly didn't have the slip it is still new and sealed now i'm not going to try and hunt down one with a slip on ebay because that will be stupid money um so i might see if i can get a custom slip made for this one um that'd be nice and then they'll all have slips won't they so that's the dollars trilogy a while ago I got rid of some titles in CEX um, and I think I got like 12 or 15 pounds or something or 17 or whatever it was um, and I went and had a look on their shelves and I found one 4k which I didn't have and that was Who Framed Roger Rabbit with a slip um, it's in pretty good condition so that was a pretty good sort of very cheap purchase uh, essentially um, the titles I was getting rid of were ones that I've now brought on 4K. So, um, yeah, kind of a few out and one in. Sometimes it's the other way around, um, one in and a few out kind of thing. But uh, now, this film, um, I want to do a bit of a, let's say a 4K forecast video, what I would um, predict the 4K will look like because this Blu-ray looks absolutely stunning now this is a long film this is a four hour version of this film um and i went on ebay a while ago my brother mentioned it the other day and while i was there i thought you know what i'm gonna have a look on ebay and see what i can find and lo and behold someone was selling um the slip cover version and uh, for a really good price too uh so i had to import it from the states but it is dancers with walls now look at that slip cover um that is absolutely stunning it's, it's a real it's got a slight leathery feel to it. it it's meant to be um the journal that he keeps and there's bits of spot glossing on there um if i can get it to look at that buckle there this uh clasp um and even on the hinges of the book this is such a stunning, this is one of the most stunning slip covers I've ever seen. Um, and there's the back. And this is the full four hour cut of the film. Uh, well, it's just under four hours, isn't it? But now the picture on my projector, this is one of the best Blu-rays I've ever seen. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. Um, now it is 
MGM, but I think it would have been released by 20th Century Fox. Um, but yes, so I want to do a little video and I'll show you some pictures from this for uh, Blu-ray and basically tell you what I think the 4K will look like before. If one comes out and there's all these channels going, it's been DNR'd and this, that, and the other, and it looks terrible, then you'll know that they're talking utter rubbish. <laughs> but anyway, yes, so that is um, Dances with Wolves. Brilliant, brilliant film. My brother and I sat and watched it, and we thoroughly enjoyed all four hours of it. And it didn't feel like I was watching a four-hour film either. So, um, yeah, these are pretty rare. And this is region A locked. So I have a multi-region player. means I can play it, no trouble. Um, but, uh, yes, if you can find this, um, I would get one. Even if 4K comes out, this slipcover is just beautiful. So, uh... I used to have the DVD box set, which had the four hour version of the film in it, uh, but I got rid of it in full anticipation of there being a Blu-ray box set, but a Blu-ray box set never materialized really. I think there's a few little things out there, um, but they're the sort of the theatrical version of the film, not the, um, the long version. So yes, uh, have a look for one of those if you, uh, if you really like the film. Um, and if you've never seen it before, I highly recommend it too. Uh, now, a lot of you got these uh, four or five films separately with all their slip covers, and I understand, totally understand why. Um, if you collect slip covers, then that's a good way of getting them. Um, now it turns out that there were some issues with a couple of those discs, um, and what I understand, the American discs got a disc replacement service, but the UK ones didn't. Uh, so now they have been re-released in this box that I, that I have with all the, the issues fixed. Um, and that is the Ultimate Rocky 4K set. Now it's only um, a slip box on one of these these chunky cases, so it's not like a an amazing box set or anything. But you know what? Having all six films and the two uh, director's cuts as well uh, in one box set is all fine by me. Um, so. Yes, nice box set. I'm glad I kind of waited and held out for something. Uh, so there you go, it's the Rocky films. Now let's get into some horrors, shall we? Okay, so we've got a Category 1 Video Nasty, um, of which I have a Blu-ray for, um, and of which Bumper and I have already watched in our series of the 39. But now I have the 4K version of it, and it is Cannibal Apocalypse, and it turned up with a slip. So this was in my WoW, WoW HD order, um, which I did. Um, where I'll see I've got the Leviathan and I got this. Um, I also bought this, uh, which is the remake of the Amityville Horror, um, starring Ryan Reynolds. Now this is the, um, the title that was created from a 4K scan of the digital intermediate. And I did a little video on explaining what that is. So if you want to find that in my playlists, if, um, if you think, hang on, uh, digital intermediate negative. Yeah, you can't scan a digital intermediate because it's digital. <laughs> but you can make a negative from that intermediate and scan that. And that's what this was created from. So it is a genuine 4K in the sense that it's from a 4K scan, but the material um, isn't 4K. Go watch my video. <laughs> but yes, beautiful slip on this. Um, I really, really like this film. Uh, I think I like it better than the original. Um, but I find the original a little bit slow and a little bit long. This one just gets the pacing right and the, the length of the film right. And Ryan Reynolds' transformation into sort of the angry guy. And, and he's pretty scary, I have to say. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this at some point. Uh, you may notice that a while ago I actually found the Blu-ray version uh, from the States, which I imported, but now I can pass that on. And um, I only ever had my DVD version before, but uh, I shall probably do a picture comparison um, using all three formats. Why not? Hey. OK, so a couple of titles from Arrow and um, one you've already seen because I did a review on it, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but I also picked up. Riddick. Now I picked up this version because it has 
um, the open map version of the film, only the theatrical, not the extended director's cut. But um, I think there may have been like an IMAX version or something like that in the cinemas. And so what they've gotten hold of will be that version. Um, so where is the theatrical, where the theatrical cut is widescreen, um, you know, a, a 239 sort of aspect ratio, that's um, black matting on top and bottom of the picture to create that wide image. And all they've done is remove those and given us the entire image. Um, so there are two aspect ratios on this. Don't know if I can get it to focus. <laughs> Come on, no. Anyway. If you've got it yourself, you'll have to have a look. Um, so I think this is the Arrow Store exclusive one. Um, that's the original artwork. I remember that from my, I think I had this on DVD. Um, I had this on Blu-ray with one of those um, comic book slip covers they, that they did for a whole bunch of films, Universal Studios. Um, they did one for Van Helsing and all that kind of stuff. And I think there's actually one for Pitch Black. Now I got a Pitch Black steelbook and I've actually, on the way, got um, rid it with a slipcover. Um, so I can watch all three films. It would be nice to watch them all back to back. Uh, I will get the Pitch Black 4K at some point. And you never know, maybe Arrow will be able to get the third one out um, and do some kind of box out or whatever. Who knows? Anyway, so the title that you've already seen the review video for. If not, you can go to my big screen review playlist and you'll find it in there. And it is the 2009 version of Friday the 13th. Um, this is a really, really nice slip cover. Um, that's the original poster art. And inside is the poster. Um, and there's also a, a postcard from Crystal Lake. You know, a nice holiday destination. <laughs> um, and I did my review on that. And I really enjoyed watching this on 4K. Uh, not the biggest uptick from um, the Blu-ray but that's because the Blu-ray was such good quality in the first place. Um, and it's basically, uh, I think it's an upscale, but it's very, very good. Now, this only came out quite recently, um, and I got this from Film Treasures. In fact, I got these last two from Film Treasures. Um, and I've been waiting for some kind of box set or twin film version of, of these Rob Zombie films for, well, ever since I knew about them, basically. Um, and that is Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and 2. Um, from what I understand, I've only seen the first one. From what I understand, excuse me, um, the second one literally just follows on like a few minutes after the original. So it's like one really long film. Um, now, there's four discs in this set. Um, so you've got the director's cut of Halloween, director's cut of Halloween 2, then you have Halloween 1 and 2 on one disc, and then a bonus disc. So that's a really cool set. Um, and because Film Treasures have already gone to the trouble of importing it, um, yes, it's, uh, I don't know if it's cheaper or more expensive, but it doesn't matter. Um, it came from within the UK, uh, so this is an Australian release. Um, but uh, yeah, you can either import it from Australia or just go to Film Treasures and uh, get it from there. But uh, yeah, so I was really pleased that that uh, came out. And then the, the last sort of box set I got... Um, was a proper version because I think I may have shown I, I did a bit of a, a boo boo on eBay and I didn't get scammed as such, um, but I didn't read the listing properly. Um, but the the list uh, did say that it was new. And you, you can't have it new if you've got the photocopied inlay and only one film because it means you've opened it and you, you you know you're splitting something up. So there's an eBayer selling um, the five films separately. And, uh, but they did send me the slip box and the inlay, but it was all crinkled and it, the slip box was damaged. So anyway, I found 
um, a brand new one. I think this was the last one that Film Treasures had. And it's the Paul Nashley Collection 2. Now, the reason for this is for this film here. God, I wish I could get this to focus. Um, <laughs> but that is The Werewolf and the Yeti. That is the Section 1 Video Nasty. And this is the full uncut version. Um, I've got a really nice Spanish version, which I think I showed in my last haul. Uh, but bizarrely, even though it's a Spanish film, that is actually cut. Um, so yes, that was very weird. Now, I will be keeping that version because it's a really, really nice edition. And it does have English audio on it. So um, but yes, now I've got the um, full uncut version of The Werewolf and the Yeti uh, in this pretty nice Shout Factory edition. It comes with a booklet. And it comes with five discs. Um, so yes, when I opened it and there was only one disc, I was like, that's not right. Um, but uh, So I do actually have a slightly damaged slip box and inlay for someone. If someone gets this just without um, the, uh, those, those, the slip box and the, the inlay. Um, because I imagine there are some versions from Shout Factory when it's just like this. Um, but as I said, I do have a spare inlay and a spare box. So there you go. There's my little haul for the month of September. And uh, yeah, quite eclectic, all the way from Roger Rabbit to uh, video nasties and all that kind of thing, and westerns and um civil war films and everything like that in between <laughs> hope you like that please give us a thumbs up um i'm still approaching that 1000 subscribers uh number it seems to be creeping up ever so slowly like climbing a mountain and getting to the last bit and it just takes an hour to do two meters as opposed to um you know uh, the first part which was relatively simple but anyway um i'll get there and uh well, we'll see what happens when, when I do. Anyway, before I start talking rubbish, take it easy and I'll see you later.